YouTubers, it's Nick540. It's a beautiful sunny day in Toronto, and gold and silver have dropped today. Uh, that's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I have a very, very quick unboxing of some silver, and I don't know exactly what it is. I know it's from the Royal Canadian Mint, so let's do a little, little dig in here. Again, it's hard to do this with one hand filming, so please bear with me. You may get a lot of close-ups here of the knife cutting into stuff, but uh, to what this is. Okay. Okay, so commodities have been taking a hit, except for wheat. Wheat and corn, uh, you know, they've been doing pretty good. Uh, but that's not the commodities we're interested in. And I honestly don't remember which which coin this is from the Royal Canadian Mint. I am going with a little bit more numismatics these days because the market is I'm sorry, I'm butchering this because um, the market is a little bit lower for the precious metals. So I thought if I can get some collector value in here, then um, at least maybe I could you know down the road it will give me some type of protection. I'm wearing my Maple Leaf watch too. It's quite nice actually. Um, so again, as I said, I don't know what this is. It comes in this really nice box. It's got the Royal Canadian Mint. And this one's a full box. Oh, this is the fishing coin. So it's a fairly new coin from the Mint. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. Again, sorry for this messy unboxing guys and girls. Um, it's really hard to do this without my regular gear. I say that in every video, but it's true. Okay, so this is a 2013 $3 face value fine silver coin. It is $9999. Um, and it is a. Let's take it out here. I think this is kind of celebrating Father's Day. $3. Um, you can see there. 2013. It's a father and looks like a son and a dog sitting on a dock fishing. And you can see the lure in the water there. I mean the bobber. Um, and on the back, of course, it's got Queen Elizabeth. Um, so this is this is a small. This is a quarter ounce size. I thought it was actually a half ounce. So my apologies. I did really like the design of this coin. Let me see here. It just says 2013. I'm pretty sure this is a quarter ounce. Uh, let me just take a look on the uh, invoice here and double check. Yes, it is a quarter ounce um, of silver. Um, so again, it's fairly expensive, but I really did like this design. I find the design really nice. It's, uh, you know, good, good memories. I actually have a kind of a cool story for you guys really quickly. Um, I'm now deathly allergic to fish and shellfish, so I'm anaphylactic. But the first fish that I ever caught, and the fish allergy is fairly new. It's only developed in the last um, five five years or so. But the, the first fish I caught, and this is no joke and no lie, I caught in the Muskoka Lakes in Ontario, and I caught it with my bare hands. It was a sunfish. I grabbed it and put it in my bucket. And my mom was there as witness. Um... I guess uh, I was, a, you know, I must have been five or six. I was fairly young, and I caught, like a bear, I caught a fish with my hands. So this coin kind of reminds me of fishing and catching that fish with my bare hands, um, and maybe some bad luck with the allergy. But either way, um, I really did like this design. I think it's quite neat. And um, please, uh, I, if you bear with me that this long, thank you so much. I'm hoping to have some more unboxings especially going into some more detail on the fabulous 15 coins um, and I'm gonna try to move more into some bullion I've been doing a lot of numismatics lately I just suspect that the market for silver and gold is going to continue to drop and then it will go up again so I want to make sure that I'm not buying now I think the low will probably hit again I don't know between 18 and 21 dollars for silver and I'm thinking 12 to a thousand for gold and this is just my opinion uh, but I do think it will eventually go back up but so that's why I'm just holding off on
buying more bullion. I will hit the 100 ounces. That is my goal um, that I've told Silverfish VT. Uh, that's my goal for myself to, to make. So I will do that uh, one way or another. I'm just being ca a little more cautious about it right now. I am in the metals for the long haul, as I always say. And uh, I do think uh, the commodities are a good place to be. But um, right now I'm just doing some numismatics kind of diversifying and hopefully the numismatic coins will give me some kind of value if the silver doesn't so um, thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed this coin um, it is a really nice coin i do like the design quarter ounce three dollar face value so thanks so much for watching and i'll see you all in my next video